Hello dear learners, welcome again. In the last video I had discussed MCQ questions on Banking and Finance Paper 2 of TYBCOM. In this video I am going to discuss uh, MCQ questions on Banking and Finance Paper 3. So if you find it useful, please like it and if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. The channel, channel link is here and please do share with your friends. So let us begin with the first question. When did the Banking Regulation Act come into effect? 10th March 49, 16 March 49, 16 April 1950, 10th March 50. So correct answer is 16 March 1949. B is the correct answer. Next question. The Banking Regulation Act was initially passed by what name? Banking Firms Act 1949, Banking Unit Act 1949, Banking Companies Act 1949, none of the above. Correct answer is Banking Companies Act 1949. The BR Act was initially passed by this name. Next question. Who has been given the power under the Banking Regulation Act 1949 to grant license to banks, central government, state government, RBI, all of the above? Correct answer is RBI has the power under BR Act to grant license to banks. Next question. In which year the Banking Regulation Act 1949 was amended to make it applicable to cooperative bank? 1966, 1964, 1965, 1954. In fact, the first amended amendment was made in 1965 to uh, make it applicable to cooperative bank in 1965. Next question. Under which act? Does RBI issue directives to banks? PMLA Act 2002, RBI Act 1934, DICGC Act 1961, Banking Regulation Act 1949. The correct answer is Banking Regulation Act or BR Act 1949. Under this act, RBI issued directives to all the banks. Next, how many sections are there in total in Banking Regulation Act 1949? 48 section, 54, 47, 56. The correct answer is 56. Initially, in fact, there were 55 sections, but when the last, the 56th amend, uh, section was added to accommodate cooperative bank, so it became 56. So D is the correct answer. Next, which section of Banking Regulation Act 1949 gives power to RBI to give directions? Section 42, Section 42A, Section 47, Section 35A. So under correct answer is 35, Section 35A of BR Act 1949, RBI has power to give directions. Next, in which of the following section cooperative societies are introduced in the B BR Act 1949? Section 31, Section 48, Section 56, Section 37. It is no doubt 19, uh, the Section 56 because there are total 56 sections only. This, is, this was the section which was added to accommodate to include cooperative banks or cooperative societies. Next question. Procedure for amalgamation of banking companies is defined under Section Dash of BR Act 1949, Section 44A, 45A, 46A, 47A. The correct answer is 44A. Under 44A, amalgamation procedure is given. Next question. Check is defined under which section of Negotiable Instruments Act 1881, Section 4, Section 5, Section 6, Section 7. The correct answer is Section 6. Under Section 6, check is defined under the Negotiable Instrument Act. Dishonor of a bill of exchange by non-acceptance 
is defined under which section of negotiable instruments act 1881 section 91 89 81 92 the dishonor of bill of exchange by non-acceptance is defined under section 91 of the instruments act 1881 dishonor of a promissory note bill of exchange or check by non-payment is defined under which section of negotiable instruments acts 1881 section 81 89 91 92 the correct answer is 1992 under section 1992 of negotiable instrument act dishonor of promissory note bill bill of exchange as well as check by name non-payment is defined next question dishonor of check due to fund insufficiency is defined under which section of negotiable instruments act 1881 section 93 section 138 section 128 section 148 correct answer is section 138 uh, defines dishonor of dishonor of check due to fund insufficiency next dishonor of check by a banker without any justifiable reason is called valid dishonor of checks unmindful dishonor of checks negligence dishonor of checks wrongful dishonor of check so last one is the correct answer dishonor of check by a banker without any justifiable reason is uh, called wrongful dishonor next question is das is the a right of a person to retain the property of another person in his possession until the debt from that owner of that property is repaid lien retainment retrenchment libel the correct answer is lien is the right of a person to retain the property of another person next question the idea behind the bankers right to set off is to enable the banker to reduce a dash amount due to him from a customer gross amount net amount partial amount none of the above amount correct answer is net amount due to him from a customer next ra the right of a set of customers account can be exercised only by a creditor by debtor banker customer the correct answer is by a banker this right of set of customers account can be exercised by a banker next the in negotiable instruments act in 1881 which section defines promissory note section 1 2 3 4 the correct answer is section 4 d is the correct answer next a check dated subsequent to the date of its issue is called postdated check blank check cross check account pay check correct answer no doubt is postdated check next a drawer in the bill of exchange can also be a paymaster a pay banker creditor the correct answer is a drawer in the bill of exchange can also be a pay next the most risky charge from a banker's point of view is pledge hypothecation mortgage lien the most risky charge is hypothecation b is the correct answer next an equitable mortgage can be created in respect of dash government securities real estate we did not go down life policies the correct answer is an equitable mortgage can be created in respect of real estate next question when a bank lends money to the corporate person the relationship is dash borrower and lender creditor data data creditor customer and client the correct answer is creditor and data a banker a bank is a creditor whereas the person is a borrower is called data so b is the correct answer next question collateral securities can be dash tangible intangible in the shape of personal guarantee of a third party security can given to get credit facilities oblique loan all of the above so collateral securities 
can be all of the above. So D is the correct answer. So all the best students. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more value added videos in future. Thanks a lot.